Did you know that Jennifer Lawrence has a collection of butt plugs? I don't believe that. Welcome to the Words of Hard Show, guys. We are back again with more random topics. Uh, make sure that uh, you put a comment down below of the topic, maybe even with a request of some sort, and we will try to fulfill it to the best of our abilities. Uh, we throw those topics into the random ro- random randomizer. The randomizer. And He's going to uh, do that every time. Every time. Disney. We're going to go with the randomizer, and uh, we're, we're just going to go with it. We're going to spin the wheel, and we're going to see... Because it irritates me. Spin, the, time spin the hat, the Mike. So today we're going to talk about computer repair nightmares, <laughs> um, which is a big topic for for Mike, for fucking nerds like us. Because um, we've we've all we're all in the IT industry. We've all worked on computers before. Yep. Um, what have you done recently, Mike? I, I think we should just save that a, for the end. Just as a heads up. You think up. we should save that for just, the end? Just as a heads up. <laughs> if. Uh, if if your IT friend fixes your computer for him, just buy him, buy him some beer or something. Cause he saved you money. Yeah, lots and lots. Effectively, of money. Uh, and, I, I and if he's your friend and truly your friend and he fixed your computer, he probably didn't rip you off in some way, like most computer repair companies are going to do. That's right. I I think I mentioned in a previous. Uh, I I know for a fact I mentioned mentioned in a previous episode where, uh, when I was working for an IT, you know, just a computer repair place, uh, there's this guy that came on, came in and they called him Marijuana Matt because uh, they found, you know, a stash of marijuana in his case. Yeah, you uh, should tell case. that story on the show for a third time. Exactly. Yeah, I was just going to say, it actually um, wasn't that long ago that you told that story. It, it that wasn't, was for no. the customer service exactly, thing yeah. that you brought and that up. We, we've, it, that's, that's where it was. So uh, there's been cases that have come in that have just been covered in resin from, from smoke. Uh, which is like I can't do shit with this or tobacco. Uh, there was there was one kid uh, that was also there at the time, uh, where I think the same computer came in. He's like, oh well, we can just scrape that off with like a toothbrush. It was like no, yeah, and some Windex. It's like in you some, don't you don't want to, but <laughs> you can just just no. I mean, maybe rubbing alcohol, sure, but like no, you use Windex. The ammonia doesn't doesn't do shit. Okay. okay, good to know. Uh, so I mean, you get stupid, stupid shit like that where it's like, just all right, well, we'll scrape that off. No, just bad. I uh, I saw. I would do it. It, it was a it was uh, PC. Alex probably isn't as thrifty as us. No, there's PC nightmares. Uh, where I saw a guy had put, um, tech gore. <laughs> tech gore. It was bad. It was so bad. Is that he any put relation to Al Gore. <laughs> yeah, this is his twin brother. Yeah. Tech. After Tech. they invented the internet. Al's twin brother Tech. After they invented the well, internet. Well, that's why I assumed that he was related to Al, because Al, Al started the internet. Yeah. He, he made the internet. Well, series the internet. Of, he's, he's very started, technical. He himself. Series of... Oh, wait. Is that Al's nickname? His nickname is Tech? That's what I just said. Sure. Wow. This is bad. So, I don't think you did. Uh, <laughs> uh, basically, he put thermal paste on his on his CPU, right? Like when you, It basically makes sure that there's complete contact between the cooler and the CPU, but he instead of putting it on top like you should, he put it in all in the pins and then put his processor in oh. the pin like in in the pins. I, I try to I try to liken um, certain computer repair things to car repair all the time. Sure, because cars are a thing that most people understand, right? They can relate to to, to an extent, right? Yeah, sure. So I mean, putting thermal paste all over the pins of your CPU. Is the equivalent is like pouring your motor oil all over the engine block. Like, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um, except for that, that's not going to like affect it. This would like ruin except it. Except fire. Except yeah, fire. Say, <laughs> pouring engine oil over your engine will affect it. <laughs> for for it, it, to be honest, it won't it won't affect it that much. Except for the in, in flames. I w- I would I would attribute it more to like well, pouring not just that, but it would get into like your your air filter and yeah. I, I would attribute it to like and pouring fuses. engine oil into like your coolant, like. I don't think it's putting the wrong thing in the wrong thing. <laughs> Just be bad. Yeah. Uh, it's putting the right thing in the wrong place. Yeah, that's right. Like I've I've snapped off, uh, <laughs> I snapped off uh, these standoffs. There's there's metal standoffs from motherboards 
uh, so that they don't make contact with the metal back, which would just fry it. Uh, I snapped a standoff off into the like oh into like the a case. riser screw yeah like like yeah like they're like yeah. they're like yeah. normally made of brass and like they screw in to the case itself so that your motherboard isn't uh, gonna make contact anyway I snapped uh, two or three of those off once because they were just seized and I was just like this is fucked I guess I remember when I was going to college and we first ever we were doing our A plus computer hardware within the first week and there was uh, and the problem is is that there was people that went in there like me. Who didn't know what a stick of RAM was or didn't know, you know, they, they knew what the inside of a computer looked like but didn't know how what made it tick and they were there to learn. And there was people who walked in there and said, I know everything, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I don't teach I don't need this course. So one of those guys that knows everything, we had to take the computer apart, uh, label each component. We had to, like, take a picture and, like, this is this and this is this. <coughs> and we had to... Make, take them all apart and then put it all back together so we put all our computers back together and the and the instructor's like all right you know turn them back on so we turn back our computers back on and we're sitting there for about two three minutes and all of a sudden i was like all right something smells like corn chips and old socks <laughs> this is fucked and uh one of the guys who's like you can't teach me anything blah 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 smoke starts coming out of his computer uh because he forgot to put the heat sink back on the cpu and it was just Melting. <laughs> it was frying. Him. And and his and his computer's blue screen. He's like, oh, I don't I don't know what's going on. I don't I don't know. And I was just like, dude, you literally left a whole part off, and it's melting now. <laughs> and and like and he's just, and he was like, he was the best. He knew everything. He was the best at ruining computers, apparently. Yeah. Oh my god. So, I don't. Know. I worked in a repair shop at at Staples, and I've told a couple stories. The funny stories about, you know, coming in contact with customer porn and stuff. Um. The, the 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 funniest story that I have, and, and compared to some of yours, it it doesn't seem as funny now. But I I've I worked at McCain's at one point, you know, a, mm -hmm. a help desk. And before that, I worked for a, a small company that McCain's owned at the time called Thomas Equipment. Yeah, and I was the PC repair guy there. And I still remember the time that I got called by the VP of finance so this is like the guy in charge of finances for the entire company oh God. called me up and said my computer's broken I need you to come up here right now yeah. I'm like okay and he's like yep yeah. I'm like what's going on he's like I don't have time to waste it's just uh, there's nothing there's nothing coming on the screen just get up here come fix this I don't have time Yeah. so I go all the way up to his desk and push the power button on his monitor <laughs> and everything came on and his excuse was because, oh, well, I never turned that off. The cleaning lady must have turned that off on me. To be fair, <laughs> being the VP of finance, I'm sure he was stressed and under a lot of pressure and probably wasn't thinking straight. He, sure. At that point, maybe. At that point, if, if, I'm, if I made a mistake that stupid, I would probably be like, all right, I'm going to go have a coffee and a nap and come back at this refreshed. You know what I mean? I was smart enough not to make fun of him at the time, though. I was just like, oh, yeah, I can totally see that. No worries. It's yeah. working now. And I my, walked away and my, left my ass off. My thing always <laughs> is is that when you're in the IT industry, I hate it when somebody comes in and says, I don't know how to do this. I don't know what this is. And people are like, what a fucking dumbass. Because it's just like, sure. cause it's like it, there's skill sets that you don't have that other people have. You know what I yeah. mean? Like, uh, going back to the car so, thing. And, like, and I'm normally like that. The only reason why I find it funny in this case is because... There's clearly a little light that indicates on your monitor whether the power is on or off or not. You, you can kind of notice that yeah, power light, right? But ninety percent of the stuff that he does in finance would go way over your head. At the no, same time. and I agree with that. Sure, so, I mean so. it's the same thing. Like if like a guy actually it, it happened. There was a an, an auto mechanic that brought his computer into the same shop. He's like, yeah, I have no clue what's going on. I'm like that's that's ironic because I have no fucking clue what goes on under the you know, the, the, like, thing, the thing like. that I find though is that is that if if you teach an IT person uh, auto repair stuff, they pick up on it pretty quickly because it's, so. it's, it's 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 similar in the sense that you that you are talking about a machine with many components that come together to perform a function, and that you understand each component's function in its sure you know what I mean yeah. so so like I feel like you know, it kind of goes hand in hand. It's it's sort of an adaptable trait when you have somebody who's tech savvy. You can sure. I mean, I'm sure that like everything could kind of work in reverse too. If you want to teach like 
I feel like I could teach a mechanic what makes a computer tick and what goes where and stuff. Sure. The 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 only difference is that computer repair needs to be more gentle than car repair. Yeah. Oh, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's like like you don't want to like snap a well, stick of RAM off into like that depends into the board. That right? depends like, how sees the screws are actually well i was going to compare it with a mechanic one of his go-to things is probably to take a hammer to it to loosen it up you don't want to take a hammer to a computer i've done (laughs) it Uh, we have put a ratchet on a screw that was so seized um in staples and just a hammer and just (laughs) say man we got a hammer hammered it out (laughs) i hope for yeah (laughs) because oh yeah don't sell too many hammers at this. I was gonna say I, d- I don't know of any <laughs> hammers for sale at Staples. No, uh, as far as like car mechanics, like if I were to, like the the guy brought his his computer in, and mm-hmm. I'm like, all right, yeah, we'll we'll get her fixed, and like it's like, the equivalent of me bringing my car into them. Like I don't know, it's making this you know weird noise. Yeah. And, you know, okay, well I guess we'll get that fixed. I I'll trust them. I mean I I know it's like blind trust, and you probably shouldn't trust most auto mechanics because a lot of them will rip you off. The same could be said for a lot of PC techs, right? So. Yeah. I, I would be more trustworthy of a mechanic than I would a PC tech. Maybe to a point. And yeah. that's not even a joke. If, it, if it's like, if it's like, like mom and pop shop mechanic, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, if it's like the big... Th- anyway, yeah, the we're getting into a whole other like, different thing. Like, well, because computer software um, can be really... It's not really black and white one way or yeah. another. No. So you can be sketchy with stuff like that. Yeah. Um, there was okay. So when I was at the PC repair shop, there was a guy that was there yeah. who was doing his. He was going through UMB's computer science course, right? And they know dick all about hardware. Computer science. He was going through UMB's. I, I, I thought you were going to tell us he was going through <laughs> UMB's marionette course. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, the fan of the of the opera impressionist. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah. So he's like. So a computer was brought in, like, yeah, we just need you to, to back up all the data. Mm-hmm. And, and uh, like, done. let me get my marionette. Do, do a that. fresh install of, of Windows. He's like, oh, okay, I can do that. So basically what he ended up doing, we had uh, we had a docking station for, for two hard drives, right? And so he's like, all right, well, we'll, we'll back this up. So he, he, he backs all the data up onto a different hard drive uh, and then wipes, the, wipes that hard drive and then reloads it back on and puts the... <laughs> puts the hard drive back in he's like huh it still has the same issues there's still viruses on it of course there is you just all you did was back up the hard drive yeah and literally you basically you, you put the viruses back you, on it you did the equivalent of of unplugging the hard drive and plugging it back in and expecting it to get rid of all the viruses right it's just stupidity you cloned a piece of shit you cloned a piece then- of shit yeah. And, then, and then expected not to get another piece of shit out of the result. He was he was so dense. I guess I mentioned the same thing that he thought that that RAM inside a computer was was able to be unplugged while the computer was running and then plugged back in. Oh yeah, totally. You can get hot swappable you, RAM. Yeah. No. But nobody going to a computer repair shop is going to. No. Own it. No. It no was. What? No, just just. It exists. Fuck you. It does exist, especially it, in servers, because I'm pretty sure the servers we had at Thomas Equipment had hot swappable RAM, among other things, because I've swapped a piece of RAM in it before. Yep. Uh, it has to be hot swappable because of those types of environments where the server has to be up 24 Do you mean every server environment? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. There's some, there's some places that might have a server for something, and they're like, I don't care if you have to bring it down. I'm not going to lose anything. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to ask some more technical details after the after the show about that, but uh, yeah, no. So as far as uh, for me, uh, about a year year and a half ago or so, my computer kept overheating, and I I, I didn't realize it was overheating. It was the, it was the processor. I have an eight core processor that generates a lot of heat, right? And so during games, I know. Sorry, I'm just jerking myself off here. Uh, during games, it would just randomly shut down because it would get too hot. And I'm thinking, what the fuck could it be? And it took me... It was all that porn you were streaming on the other screen at the same time. Well, I, I downloaded tranny porn specifically to use up all the bandwidth that, that's available to me because it requires more bandwidth because there's more junk, right? Um, that wasn't funny. You're welcome. So, <laughs> it's one of my favorite jokes. If Anytime like, the server's lagging, I, I, I pull that joke out. Anyway, computer kept on rebooting. Pulls it out. Uh, I started smelling burning. And I had no clue what it was from, and then it hit me. I'm like, "Oh, you're having a seizure." My processor's burning. Yeah. So I pulled up like uh, a temperature monitoring system and says, "Oh, so my my 
processor's up to 100 degrees. That's why it's not... Your, your computer's on fire. <laughs> my computer's yeah. actually on fire. Just, like, just, just for anybody watching, um, mine idles at 24 degrees, so... Yeah, it's it's pretty bad. No, I mean, now my idle's around around thirty for degrees Alex or so. To be four times that. I, I end up getting a liquid cooling uh, set up, and it's a lot. Oh yeah. Cooler now. It's like at at full load, it's like sixty degrees, which is not burning temperature. Uh, you know, it's pretty bad. So, Mike, um, you you recently had a mishap, yeah? Yeah, yeah I was gonna say we're getting close to wrapping so this up. We I, need to hear your story. I had a similar issue where things were running kind of choppy um and uh and running hot so i took a look and found out that my processor fan was seizing and i thought well instead of buying a new fan i'll buy a heat sink as well i'll buy something that's not stock that didn't come with it right so um i bought one online waited for it to come in it finally came in and uh when whenever you go to replace any pc part um as as any good tech would uh, when you open up your computer to do any sort of maintenance um, while you're there clean everything right so took it all out uh, cleaned everything I cleaned off the processor of the thermal paste and stuff so I took the processor out and I cleaned it and um, when I went to go put it back in I was very 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 tired at the time because what had happened earlier is there's a huge snowstorm uh, and I couldn't shovel everything a uh, big shout out to Jeff for coming to help me out with that shit with his snowblower. Um, and that's when my heat sink was delivered and I thought, oh, I'll use the, I'll, I'll swap it out while I'm here. Um, but I hadn't slept. I was, I was pissed off and exhausted. And so I like how you're just piling on all the excuses before you tell us what I, I'm wrong. literally setting up <laughs> the whole environment where I had been running on two hours of sleep I know. and, uh, had to shovel like three feet of snow <laughs> and so i put the processor in backwards essentially and before i realized that i did that i had closed the clasp down so i bent the shit out of a bunch of pins on yeah the this is giving it a little more resistance than it should <laughs> yeah but i just thought maybe i'm tired i'm weak pushed it down locked it in place just jammed it um and then my computer wouldn't turn on <laughs> or it would but it wouldn't Post. Wouldn't it wouldn't boot, boot up, right? So I, uh, when I realized the pins were bent, I tried to bend them back because um, luckily I had one of the chipsets where the uh, pins on are on the motherboard, not on the processor, which is great because, as I found out later on, uh, motherboards are about a hundred bucks <laughs> for the chipset that I needed. A uh, new processor is what three, four yeah, for yeah. a half de- for like a half decent one. Uh, you know, and then it would also have to be compatible with my motherboard. Um, you know, I went to one shop where I was like, where they didn't have what I was looking for because they were like, oh, it's it's too old. We don't carry that anymore. And then I went to another shop where they're like, what the fuck? Processors last forever. Why wouldn't they continue to carry yeah. motherboards that fit old chipsets? Um, you know, just it's a money grab, right? Anyway, basically the first place that I went was just like, well, you, you'll have to buy a new motherboard and processor, so it'll be like seven hundred something bucks. And I was like, yeah, no, sorry, man, I, I'm not looking to spend that that much money right now or ever. <laughs> and uh, and you know, I just don't have that kind of cash. And he goes, oh, but it's it's great when you overclock it. It's it's it runs so smooth. I'm like, stop trying to sell me on it. I literally just told you I can't buy yeah, that. I don't have the money. And and you're gonna continue to try to sell me like this guy's like social cues and salesmanship was like that of Forrest Gump. That's another <laughs> whole episode. Yeah. You right need there. you need at least no, processor. I think we could do an episode on that. You should probably add that to the Marco. You sales, need so. this processor. Yeah, yeah. When you overclock it, it works real good, especially with <laughs> shrimp. Yeah. But, uh, but no, so, I mean, it worked out in the end. I probably needed a new motherboard in the first place. But, yeah, my $20 fan replacement turned into a $120 motherboard fan heat sink replacement. But let's be honest, your computer's never worked better, has it? It hasn't, but I don't, <laughs> but I don't know if that has anything to do with the motherboard so much as it has to do with the fan that I actually find. <laughs> the $20 You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like if, I, if, if I did get the fan working in the first place... It probably would have been just as fine. Yeah, would I have been just as much in the same position? Now, the funny part about that is, is that the fan was seizing and making a sound for a long time. Oh. Um, and I didn't know this because my ears were so plugged up. 
and I had gotten my <laughs> ears flushed and I could like hear color like it was incredible and then one day I was sitting I was sitting in here uh, on my computer and I was like oh my god my fans like clunking along. It's making all this sound, and my wife's like, "Yeah, it's been doing that for months." I told you about that. I was gonna say, and I'm I was pretty like, sure we've pointed it out to you sitting in here before too. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, <laughs> "Oh my god, I couldn't hear it this whole time." Yeah. And I open it up and I look and I come to find out that it's like fucking struggling. <laughs> you can see it moving, right? It's just like moving slowly. Yeah, like... it was like <laughs> it was like coughing at me. It's probably so. like animal pet hair wrapped so, up. So in I mean, it. yeah. Lessons learned on that. Lessons learned. Don't touch your computer unless you know how to fix it. Yeah. Otherwise, you get... Lessons learned. I, I, I still think I trust a mechanic more than a PC repairman. Lessons learned. Even if you know what you're doing, you can still fuck it up. So, um, just roll the dice, I guess. If you don't know what you're doing... Don't even try. You could, you could <laughs> break it just as much as somebody who does. So why not open it up and just start pulling things? Have fun. Keep keep us working. <laughs> Thanks for watching that episode of the Words of Hard Show, guys. Leave your comments down below of topics that we can uh, that we can put in the random randomizer and uh, leave a, a request with that topic as well. Don't forget to like and share the video. Check out our social media in the links below. Uh, we're on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, and Instagram. Uh, if you you want to check out previous videos uh you can click right here if you want to check out the uh that that's the last video that we did if you want to subscribe you can click over there between mike and greg and uh don't forget to watch our uh no not watch don't forget to buy our shit down below in the comments get our mug on a mug and our faces on your chest nothing we want more than that thanks for watching <laughs>